back to those who thought that video one on the Bible discrepancies and contradictions was interesting enough to come into round two. No need for pleasantries. Let's just drive, dive, dive right in. Okay. All right. Let's see here. More discrepancies, and then we'll go into some of its bullshit. Numbers 33, uh, chapter 33, verse 38. And Aaron the priest went up into Mount Hor at the commandment of the Lord and died there in the uh, 40th year after the children of Israel were come out of the land of Egypt in the first day of the fifth month. Okay, so that's the important part right here. Aaron died on Mount Hor. All right. Now, Deuteronomy 10, 6. And the children of Israel took their journey from Beeroth of the children of Jachan to Masa, uh, the children of Jachan to Masira. There Aaron died. Now it says that Aaron died. And this is the same Aaron. Check it out. Um, it says now that he died in uh, Masira. That's not where that mountain is. Mount Hor is not in Masira. And there he was buried. And Eliezer, his son, uh, and blah, 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 blah. But any, the point on that is, okay, he died here. No, he died there. No, he died here. <sighs> All right. Let's see here. Oh, here's an interesting one. Deuteronomy 24, 1 through 5. When a man hath taken a wife and married her, and it come to pass that she find no favor in his eyes, because he hath found some uncleanness in her, then let him write her a bill of divorce and give it in her hand and send her out of his house. And when she has departed out of the house, she may go and be another man's wife. And if the latter husband hate her, and write her a bill of divorce, and give it in her hand, and sendeth her out of his house, or if the later, latter husband die, which took her to be, to, uh, to be his wife, her former husband, which sent her away, may not take her again to be his wife, after that, she is defiled, for that is a ban abomination before the Lord, and thou shalt not cause the land to sin, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance. When a man hath taken a new wife, he shall not go out to war, neither shall he be charged with a business, but he shall be free at home one year and shall cheer up his wife, which he hath taken. That is a long honeymoon. Anyway, I read the whole passage, so I didn't get accused of that whole thing. Anyway, talks about divorce. Okay. So there are things where they're allowed to divorce. Oh, wow, that is wonderful. They're allowing divorce. Oh, wait, what? Ah, what is this? Mark 10. Mark chapter 10, 2 through 12. And the Pharisees came to him and asked him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife, tempting him? And he answered and said unto him, What did Moses command you? And they said, Moses suffered to write a bill of divorcement and to put her away. And Jesus answered and said unto them, For the hardness of your heart he wrote you this precept. But... From the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twine but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. And in the house of his disciples asked him again of the same matter. And he said, uh, said, saith 
come to them. Whosoever shall put away his wife and marry another uh, committeth adultery against her. And if a woman shall put her husband away, uh, put, put away her husband and be married to another, she committeth adultery. Huh. Same Bible, two completely different concepts in the same damn book. What the fuck? I mean, no, but you're talking about the Old Testament versus the New Testament. In the New Testament, Jesus said, I am not here to say that you can't follow the old laws. I am here to enforce them. He also said, I'm not here to bring peace and harmony, but to bring the sword, or however his words were. Stop the frickin' cherry-picking and whining. That's what it says. That's what it says. More discrepancy. More discrepancy. Prove me wrong. Once again, I challenge you who disagree that these that, that say these are not discrepancies instead of just sit there and go you're full of crap however pleasant or vulgar you want to word that back up what you're saying tell me how these aren't explain it again if it's out of context please explain the proper t context I presented my case twice now. If there's a disagreement, you won't be blocked. You want to post a video response? An entire YouTube is able to see me say, I'll post video response that is relative to the subject. In other words, if you're going to post a video response about you in a BMX race, I'm not going to post it on this. There's other things I'd post it on, but this is not going to be one of them. You want to post a video response? I got no problem. I'm going to leave these open to be automatic. Um, in fact, I look forward to that. Any kind of video response is about the matter. Whether you agree or disagree. If you agree, why do you agree? If you disagree, why do you agree? Or if you disagree, why do you disagree? Um, the extra added information is useful. Please note that this is not all opinion based. This is actually going through the Bible itself. This is not pulling in an outside third party source. I've given the chapters, I've given the verses. Check it out. See if I'm full of crap. I'm going to leave it at that. Some of my magic. I'll catch you all later. I will be producing probably two of these a week. Oh, this is two for this week. I'll get you some more later. I'll catch y'all later. Have a good night.